In listening to and reading discussions regarding the Catholic Church or priesthood, I am sorry to say that I often find a bigoted attitude towards Catholic priests, expressed in the notion that the Catholic priesthood is an institution of perverted child molesters. Furthermore, I often hear it argued that celibacy is somehow to blame for the abuses by priests. Such an attitude towards Catholic priests is horribly unjust, not to mention hypocritical when it is coming from those who preach tolerance and non-judgmentalism and who defend various minority groups against unjust prejudices which are founded upon stereotypes based on the behavior of a select few members of those groups. This attitude wrongly brands good men innocent of these crimes because of the evil committed by a small number of men who, I am sorry to say, were ever admitted to the priesthood. The truth is, child abuse and the abuse of adolescence, which was, by the way, what many, if not the majority of these cases actually was, are not exclusive to, nor rampant within the Catholic Church. Other churches and ecclesiastical communities face the same problem, and not just religious bodies and their clergy, but other non-religious professions, such as teachers. But anti-Catholicism remains one of the last acceptable prejudices within this country. As such, when abuses come to light within the Catholic Church, everyone knows about it because the media is all over it. When it happens elsewhere, it just doesn't get the coverage. Now, as to the notion that celibacy has something to do with these abuses and that allowing priests to marry will solve the problem, that's absurd. Remember, the majority of child abuse is not committed by Catholic priests, but by men who either are married or who are at least able to get married. If a man is a child molester, his being married will not change him, and if a man is normal, his being unmarried will not make him into a pedophile. How precisely is that supposed to happen? If a normal man is, let's say, fed up with his commitment to celibacy, why would he seek to abuse children and adolescents to satisfy his desires? Wouldn't it make much more sense to just seek normal adult relations? 